Hello everyone and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. Are you ready to sing our good morning song together? Let's stretch our arms out like airplane wings and fly to one side, fly to the other side, fly back to the middle and stretch your airplane wings into a big circle out in front like this. Now take that circle up over your head and stretch from one side, stretch over to the other side. One last stretch up at the top and we'll bring our circles back down and sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day so far. So before we get started with the calendar and weather chart, let's quickly do three things. First, let's turn on our listening ears like this. The second thing that we need to do is put on our thinking hats. My thinking hat is right behind me. So I'm going to take it and put it on top of my head. And the third and final thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts. Can you show me how we do that? Boom, 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 boom. So our listening ears are on, our thinking hats are on, and our hearts are all warmed up. And now we're ready for circle time. I have my pointing stick and I'm going to bring it up to the top. Right up here, we have a brand new month. Friends, do you remember what the month is? May! That's right. Last weekend, we started a new month called May. And today is May 6th. So I'm going to move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was May 5th. And today is May 6th, 2021 but you can also say that the year is 2021. Friends, will you say the date with me one more time? Are you ready? Today is May 6th, 2021 or 2021. Get those counting fingers ready like this and warm them up, give them a little stretch. Let's count all of the days that we've had so far in the month of May. Will you count with me? Let's go up to the top. Right here we have the number one. Two, three, four, five, six. We have had six days so far in the month of May. Keep those six fingers up, friends, but put up one more finger. So now you have seven. And now we're all ready to sing the Days of the Week song. Because we have seven days in our week, we hold up seven fingers for this next song. Are you ready to sing together? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's travel down to the bottom of this chart. This says that yesterday was, here's your clue, what? Wednesday. Yesterday was Wednesday. So that means that today is Thursday and tomorrow will be Friday, the last day of the weekday. Let's go back to today. Will you sing today is Thursday with me? It goes like this. Today is Thursday, today is Thursday, today is Thursday all day long. Today is Thursday, today is Thursday, today is Thursday, all day long. Let's travel back up to the top of the chart. Right up here we have the season. This week we started talking about arthropods that we find during this season. Do you know what the season is? Spring! That's right friends, it's springtime where I live. And when I travel back down to the bottom, this means that it's time to sing the weather song together. Will you sing with me? 
What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? Let's take a look to see my picture down here. This is a picture of a cloud and the sun because when I look outside of my window, it seems like the sun is trying to shine through the clouds again. It's still mostly cloudy, but the sun is shining a little bit. My temperature chart is on orange. It's supposed to be a warm day where I live. Warm, but mostly cloudy. Friends, what's the weather like where you live? Will you look out your window and let me know what you see? Thanks for sharing with me. Now it's time to move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. So this week, we have been talking all about this letter. Can you tell me what sound this letter makes? Qua, qua. That's right, friends. And do you know what letter this is called? Q. This is a lowercase q. Q says qua, qua. And now let's grab the letter box and see what's inside. Inside of this box, I have something that starts with the letter qua, Q. Here's your first clue. This is an example of royalty. So this, is type, this is person is a female ruler, someone who is in charge. Sometimes this person may be married to a king. Do you know who this person is? Let's take a look. A queen. So I have this crown right here because sometimes queens wear crowns on top of their head. Queen starts with the letter qua, Q. This is how you write a lowercase qua, Q. One more time. And now let's move on to the double digit number of the week. Do you remember what double digit number this is? 22. And look at this. When you write the number 22, you write the same number two times. Can you show me with your finger what number you have to write? Two. When you write the number 22, you write two, two times. 22. I have my piece of chalk. You can also grab something to write with because now we are going to draw 22 tally marks together. If you want, you can just count with me instead. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five goes across, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 goes across, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 goes across, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 goes across, 21, and 22. 22 tally marks. And let me grab this dark piece of paper that I have because today we are going to count these. Friends, do you remember what this is called? A wood chip. And wood chips are the same color as the top of the box. So I put a dark piece of paper on the top of the box so that the wood chips don't camouflage and you can see them. Are you ready to count with me? Just like yesterday, let's make two rows of 10 and then the last two wood chips will go at the bottom. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, 10, one row of 10. So let's start the second row. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. 22 wood chips. And now let's move on to the sign of the week. This week, we have been practicing how to say bug in sign language. Can you show me how to say bug? That's right, friends. And let's do that one more time together. Bug. The arthropod that we're going to learn about today is extra cool because it starts off as one insect and then it goes through a change or a metamorphosis and becomes another insect. Do you know the two insects that I'm talking about? A caterpillar and a butterfly. Now friends, before a caterpillar can become a butterfly, it has to complete a life cycle of four stages. Let me show you more about that. So right here, I have a diagram of the life cycle of a butterfly. At the top, I have a picture of some little eggs because in the springtime, the female butterflies will lay a bunch of eggs. And then after a few days, the eggs will hatch and caterpillars or larvae will come out of the egg. And then the caterpillars will eat and eat and eat and soon, they will turn into a chrysalis. Now, a chrysalis will usually stay from about 10 to 14 days. And then after that time, a butterfly will emerge from the chrysalis and then the life cycle will start all over again. So in the springtime, a female butterfly lays lots of very small eggs, which the larva or caterpillars hatch from. Most caterpillars are herbivores, which means that they will only eat plants and vegetation and grow so much that they shed their old layer of skin several times. So once a caterpillar is full grown, it goes through one more stage before becoming a butterfly. The caterpillar becomes a chrysalis and a lot is happening during this stage. We'll learn more about that tomorrow, but for now, let's move on to today's work. For today's work, you will need a rolling pin, some Play-Doh, and some thin cylinder objects. So I have a dot -a dot marker right here. I have a regular marker. You can use a pen or a pencil, crayons, as long as they are not too thick and the shape of a cylinder. So today we are going to practice rolling using a rolling pin and some Play-Doh. So when you begin rolling, you wanna make sure that your Play-Doh is in the shape of a ball right here. And when you put the rolling pin on top, you start off with your hands flat like this, or you can hold on to the sides of the rolling pin. It's up to you. And just go back and forth, back and forth. When it becomes spread out on one side like this, you can begin to roll it along the other side we want to make sure that we roll out the Play-Doh enough for our cylinders to fit inside. So this looks like it would be large enough for the marker to fit. So we can pretend that the marker right here is a caterpillar and it's getting ready to become a chrysalis. So you would put it inside of the Play-Doh like this, and it begins to form a chrysalis with the outer shell like this, and you can wrap it up and close it up. And now the caterpillar has become a chrysalis. Let's try that again using the larger cylinder. So this would be a larger caterpillar. If you want to, you can roll the Play-Doh up into a ball again and start completely over. If not, you can just continue to roll it out until you think 
that it would be big enough for the caterpillar to fit inside. There we go. Let's try that. So the caterpillar would go right here and you would roll up the Play-Doh as the chrysalis forms. Cover it all up. And now the larger caterpillar has turned into a chrysalis. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Before we go, I have a quick movement activity about the life cycle of a butterfly that I'd like to share with you. So first, we're going to take our bodies and we're going to curl them up into a circle just like a butterfly egg. Next, once the egg hatches, a caterpillar comes out. So you're going to get on your hands and knees just like a caterpillar would crawl. And then after a caterpillar, a chrysalis is formed. So a chrysalis is very, very still. Can you sit very still like this? Don't move any parts of your body. And then a butterfly will emerge from the chrysalis. So now you can flap your butterfly wings like this. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. And now it's time to sing our goodbye song together. Can you wave goodbye like this? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, friends, and I'll see you tomorrow.